Good morning, sir. I'm the one who reported our little accident. I was pulling out of the parking lot and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. No, come on. It's just a fender bender, basically a scratch. But the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? That I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him. But you know, it's a waste of my nerves anyway, right? Sure, you got it. The police already? Did you hear that? They fired. I don't know, man. I, I, some guys came into the store and, and then they just started shooting people. I, I don't know. I, I I did see them. And, yes, and, and expensive. One of them was getting. I saw three. My daughter was left in the store. I ran out as soon as they started shooting. I was sure she was right behind me, but... Yes, she was with me. I started to run for the exit. I turned around and... She was gone. Please find her before they get her. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I'm so scared for my Camille. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. Yeah, they're going around for someone else to shoot. I'm okay. I hid. Do you think- What a horror. Anything else? The longer we- t What? Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. If I move out of here, aren't they going to shoot at me like I was some sort of duck? Uh, 
A cop? You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? I hate cops. Die! Doghouse? Quickly. I'm going to count to three. And then I'm going to shoot your tail off, okay? Ha! Good. Ha <laughs> ha! The police? Jesus, finally. Help me. He's not breathing. What? No, he's just a customer. He comes here a lot, and today... Shit. Yes, I fix what's broken, and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I went out to check one of the refrigerators, and it started. You don't even know. It's a living hell. What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay here? Good. Sure thing. Straight to the exit. I'll be in the parking lot if you need me. Looks like you're saving my life. Thank you. I'm the store manager. The head of the whole party. He's locked himself in the warehouse. Who knows what he's looking for in there? As you walked through the store, did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room? You can go through them. This one here also leads to the back room, but the key's gone. I don't have it, and I don't think Richard has it as well. Yes, yes, there you go. Just be careful, huh? The guy was sharp. No, I I'm fine. I, I just don't know what they- Really, I'm fine. I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never made any problems. I heard him on the phone talking about some kind of pickup. Don't ask me what, because I have no idea, but the thing was supposed to be in our warehouse. We don't... You ask me, I'll ask you. Maybe 
what else is there? I'm sure someone's supposed to pick this up. That's all I know. Thank you very much again. If it, if it weren't for you... No way. This is my store and my people. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> you make me laugh so hard, I'm gonna listen to what you have to... What? What did he yell? What are you talking... First you made me laugh, and now you pissed me off. I don't like it. Wait, wait, wait. We'll talk. I went through your file, and I know everything, Price. You're here looking for a brother who disappeared a while back, right? Look, I don't usually get involved in stuff like this, but focus on the job, huh? I'm giving you good advice, Price. Give it a rest. There are people working on it. You know that rule about a surgeon not cutting on himself? Yeah, seriously. When you're done here, get your ass to the police station. And now for the news.